Welcome back to Good Day. All right, here we are in 2019. Everyone makes those New Year's resolutions. The big one always every single year is losing weight. It's the top one, but most people will actually eventually give up without reaching their goals, it's sad to say. But Bill Ron here with Snap Fitness is telling us big reason why we can't do anything about it or why we fail and what we can do about it. What is it, Bill? Oh, there's a lot of reasons, Pat, but uh, one reason is uh, the goals aren't specific. And let me give you an example. Okay. We're talking about weight loss. Yeah, I'm going to lose weight. Okay. Okay, I'm going to lose weight. Well, that's not a goal because it's not specific. Okay. I'm going to lose 50 pounds by the end of February. Holy cow. What, yeah. are you going to fast for two months? <laughs> well, that's not a goal either because no. it's not realistic. Plus, it's not safe. Yeah. So maybe uh, lose five pounds by the end of February. That's realistic. So it's a matter of like setting a goal that is re a realistic. Uh, first, setting a real goal too, right? You bet. And it's not uh, about setting a goal by the end of the year, I'm going to do X. I mean, you can do that, certainly, yeah. but uh, if you can go for some short-term goals. But what I really have seen uh, from being in the gym business a little while is uh, I know a lot of people want to lose weight, mm -hmm. and, and I certainly understand that, or, or just be more active. But uh, sometimes that can be frustrating. Not every, you don't go in a straight line, even if you're trying to lose weight. So there, there are up and downs even in the process. Of Absolutely. It, right? So and. And uh, especially for people, and there's a lot of folks uh, because of their jobs or other responsibilities, have just been inactive for years. And, and we know this because we talk to people, but uh, setting a goal about just being more active, maybe, you know, the, the losing weight is a dividend. If you, if you move more, okay. you burn more calories. And uh, there's lots of ways to do it. Uh, if you come in a gym, uh, you know, we can talk about setting goals around that. But uh, if you've been totally inactive before you even join a fitness club, you might just set a goal of, of uh, walking the neighborhood for 20 minutes. Something small and attainable, because if you don't want to push it, stress it too much, because if you have been inactive for so long, you're probably going to risk an injury, right? You're going to risk an injury, and also uh, is, there's a motivation factor if mm -hmm. you can keep it short enough. Short enough, I can do that. Yeah, I can, yeah. Come, I can walk around the neighborhood. Four days out of seven. Okay. If you've been doing zero days out of seven, that's real. Well, four progress. is a big improvement, isn't it? You now, talk about in the first of the year, the gym gets busy and stuff, and then eventually it will wane off. Yes. You know, at the end of the year, what would you tell somebody? Said, okay, they've actually bought a gym membership and they're going to go to the gym, what would you say to that person about a goal that they could set? Say they've been inactive for three or four years. What's a realistic goal for someone just to get back into the gym? Well, to get back in the gym, I'd say it's the same thing. It, uh, set those short-term goals. But also, uh, I, I really suggest that if, if a person came in and started working out, uh, you know, lasted three weeks, mm -hmm. that happens too. Uh, think about what the reason is. I mean, life gets in the way a lot of times, and you have to realize if you're setting a goal there's only 24 hours in the day and uh, you know maybe so it's you family responsibilities uh, or uh, just just things that you're used to doing you know because you're creating a new habit mm -hmm. and it takes uh, oftentimes more than 30 days 30 days is is um, you know a common number that's used to change a habit so if you can get in that gym 30 day, every day not every day but most days during the week and uh, make it a regular thing, uh, you can have a lot out. better chance. Bill, thank you so much for being here. It's Good a tips here for this new year. Okay. Always a pleasure. With Good Bill. luck, folks. Hey, let's take a look at your traffic this morning. Uh, we're going to start.